I'm just being the concert connoisseur that I'm trying to build myself into. You know, usually I get there very early. I be front and center. I'm was in there hollering screaming vibing going crazy and i think that is the beautiful part about going on tour because <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen me before, I am Shapril. So you already read my title, you know what we're doing today. We're going to the JT concert. Now, this is just research purposes only. I'm not going because I'm no diehard JT. I seen JT when she was still in the group. Um, I just want to be able to see all the rap girls this year. And I want to give an honest review on who I think did the best because everybody's on tour. So this is more research than me going as a fan. So I got my ticket this morning. I think after tax, it was like $32, um, which is cheaper than what I paid a couple weeks ago for Ice Spice. So. So, I want to get ready now. It's going to be a little while before I actually go to the concert. I have some stuff to do beforehand because the concert's not until like 8. And I probably won't even get there until like 8.30. You know, usually I get there very early. I'll be front and center. I don't even think I'm going to be really front and center for this one. But again, I'm not really like a JT diehard. So, I just want to support and get my little concert, concert, um... What am I looking for? Concert connoisseur. I'm, I'm just being the concert connoisseur that I'm trying to build myself into. So I'm going to go so I can tell you guys what I thought of the concert. Do I think you guys like really care? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But I'm really trying not to wear makeup right now because my face is kind of breaking out. You see like right there. It's kind of breaking out and I think it's because of the excessive makeup use here recently because i've been very much outside but yeah so this would technically be the fourth rap girly i've been to so far i've been to nikki well five nikki megan and glow that's three ice spice that's four and this would be number five so we're doing it and I got sexy red next month. So come go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Cause y'all know I'm going crazy for my girl sex. It's so crazy how she grew on me. Is it wrong to be in the JT vlog talking about sexy? I don't know. I'm kind of sad because that just leaves like a lot of and then obviously there are other people, but like y'all don't be considering everybody. Y'all, y'all be picky, cause like I seen Sweetie too, and technically she was a rap girly, but I didn't vlog that. So, but Sweetie is my girl. Like, you would think I'm gonna bait away like that girl. Like, that's my girl. And Flo Millie didn't go on tour this year yet. <laughs> Who knows with these people? She might not have dropped it, but she's pregnant now, right? That's the other thing. I don't really be keeping up with celebrities and like the tea. Is Cardi gonna drop? Tell me who y'all wanna see in concert this year because this would be my Nikki, Megan, Chris Brown, I Spice Party Next Door. This would be my sixth concert vlog of the year. And I don't know if you guys like them, but hope you're liking them. Hope you're tuning in. So. This is really all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick because I actually do have to leave. I have to leave here very shortly. But I think with your eyebrows done, you just look like you tried, even if you didn't. You know, cause like, okay girl, her. I wanna kinda try to learn how to do my eyebrows to where they look laminated. I think that's gonna be, when I get my new house, 
I'm gonna really start becoming a lady. Like a real grown, 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 grown lady. Right now I'm grown, grown. But I'm be a grown, 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 grown lady. So I'm gonna start learning how to do literally anything I don't know how to do. But I don't know how to do some stuff. But I mean, I know how to do my makeup. I just wanna learn how to do that laminated look. Cause that's, I still do my makeup like 2016. <laughs> and I feel like I said that to y'all before, but. I hope I'm just rambling. This is what I do my friends. I just gonna follow. Saying anything. The only person I'm saying I'm not gonna be able to see, I'm not gonna be able to see Luke Bryan. I really wanted to see him, but unfortunately the budget didn't allow. Everything I do is on the budget, and the budget didn't allow for Luke. So Y'all probably like, who is Luke Bryan? If you watch my JT vlog. Anyways. Okay, see? Okay, I think that's gonna be it. I said, it's like, I just feel bad having eyebrows and no, nothing on my face. So I just try to like do it a little bit, but not too much. Cause then it'll look like my makeup is blotchy. I just like to kind of make sure my skin tone is even across my face because sometimes it's not. But yeah, so I'm about to do this. Go do what I gotta do and then I'm gonna see you guys later when I'm actually like heading into the concert, okay? Okay guys, so it's after the concert, obviously, and I wanted to give my review of Miss JT. So, number one, she's a sad sister, so I always got her back, 10 toes down, whether I know the music. Now, that's what we should preface by saying. I really went to this concert just to get an idea of what kind of like vibe she was giving on tour, etc. Because I don't know, I know okay um i used to be down bad but okay jt coming and um what's the other one one more i know one more um so i was really just there for the vibes and to show support to my girl because i don't even know the music for real but I will say, I enjoyed her show. So, her show was at the Vic Theater here in Chicago. And, like, when you walk in, there's, like, a, a general admission part. And then up on the top. I don't know if it's seats up at the top or what. But, um, around, you can, like, get seats upstairs, etc. And I felt like that was a good venue for her. For her, like, just going on the smaller tour. Not, like, a... Uh, what's it called? Um like a world tour or something like that i peeped that her dates like she's not on tour for a long time like it's kind of high by cutesy um and so i was just thinking about that and uh but i was vibing like i had just went to ice spice the week before which that vlog will be up next week um so go ahead and subscribe if you're more of an ice spice girl than a jt girl but I had watched it and um her tour like her fans I mean uh what are they called what they call the um I feel like I'm doing such a bad review um her fans went crazy like they were screaming and I think I put some footage in where her fans was like going crazy and I was like 
Like, they love JT, and I think that's the beautiful part of going on a tour because, number one, going on a tour can be scary, and then, like, you might not, like, I'm sure, I like, it's scary, number one. Number two, you don't know if people going to buy, but you don't know if people going to buy tickets, but her fans literally was in there hollering, screaming, vibing, going crazy, and I think that is the beautiful part about going on tour because, Essentially, you're going on tour for your fans. That's who you're going on tour for. And I thought that was very beautiful. I really did like she was on the mic. It wasn't, it wasn't like, it, she was on the mic. She was rapping and I, and I liked that. Something I think could have been better, which could or could not be in her um, control, I guess. I wasn't a fan of the outfits. Um, and I, again, everything I say, this is literally just my opinion. I'm not even a dressing girly, so I probably should shut up about outfits, but I felt like I expected more from her because she is a dressing girly. Like, she do be dressing, and she do be giving out looks, and she is very into fashion, so I expected a little bit more than um, from her outfits, and I probably would have liked a little bit more. Um, but overall, she literally came on the stage, done her set, and said bye. Like, she literally was like, okay, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm going home. That part, I was like, okay, girl. You could have been like, it was lovely having y'all and, and left. But I thought overall she done really, really good. If you still have the opportunity to go see her, I would definitely say go see her. I feel like her tickets are affordable. It's not like she's asking $500 for a very... I feel like it was a minimal first tour vibe like let me get out here let me show face to my fans she's solo now i think that was a great move for her something else i don't know if this was intentional but i felt like for all the songs just about the lyrics were on the screen up behind her and i really 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 did like that because for the people who may not know every single lyric that's perfect like you getting them engaged you getting like okay i'm reading the lyrics like i'm here and i thought that was really cute and i know chris brown done that um he done it during don't judge me um but i feel like overall i definitely give her show like it, it, i give it, it it's vibe it was cute um there wasn't anything like really on the stage or anything like that um stage presence i feel like Nowadays, I don't really know what to expect from stage presence because, like, I feel like you either have to dance or you have to have dancers who are going to dance. Like, you have to do something that's entertaining. I can't just watch you walk around. But she did have dancers, so I could vibe with that. And she jumped in the choreo, uh, choreography every every here and there. So, that was cute, I guess. Um, but, overall... I saw her when she was with the City Girls, and I feel like her energy, like if you saw her, I feel like her energy is still there. Like if you saw her with the City Girls and you see her now, I feel like she still has really good energy, really good vibes. So I definitely would recommend going to see her. And yeah, I mean, especially for the price, the tickets were affordable. It wasn't anything expensive. This is not a break the bank kind of concert. And I think that's something people need to put in their brain. I feel like if I'm going to break the bank to see you, I want to see a full performance. Like Chris Brown, I didn't break the bank, but it was my probably my most expensive ticket. And I expect you to put on the biggest show. Um, if I'm going to pay... And also, y'all, I don't know if y'all be knowing, tickets really not that expensive. Like, not every ticket is that expensive. So, yeah, if you gonna, if I'm gonna get a little forty dollar ticket, okay, I don't, I don't need the theatrics because you have to think about it. You paying for more expensive tickets is is making their budget bigger. If you're not paying for expensive tickets, of course, their budget is not as big, and you're gonna get very minimal. So yeah, keep that in mind. But. Overall, I would say my girl did really good, and I'm really proud of her, and if by some crazy way you're watching this, JT, like, I'm not a diehard, what, they're juvies, I think that's what they are, I'm not a diehard fan, but you definitely have my respect, you did your big one, you got on that stage, you held it down, and that was that, can't nobody ever take that away, so... Until next time, you guys, that's my little review. Um, I'm going to see you guys in the next vlog, which I already told you guys. It's going to be the Ice Spice vlog um, concert and review. So go ahead and make sure you hit subscribe now so you can find out when that one comes up. And until next time, guys, bye. bye.
Thank you.